Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Alt Archive. And today's video we're doing Disturbia and they've been on my list for a while now. So it's often how this brand went from streetwear to viral alternative clothing store. Disturbia was founded in 2003 by Francis and Helen. The company is based in Northumberland, England. I was looking at Northumberland High for the rest of my life. Sorry, for some reason hearing the town would be immediately think of that Miley Cyrus song. <laughs> Francis seems to go by Frank and seems to be the one doing the interviews and like the public stuff. I couldn't find any information on Helen other than that they are married to each other. The clothing brand started out mostly as a graphic tee where they would make insanely detailed designs. According to a Roxanne's interview in 2010, this was pretty much the brand. Francis stated in that interview in particular that he had a fashion degree from Northumbria University. And in that same interview, he went on to talk about how the brand even gained attention from Slash from Guns N' Roses. From my research, it seems like the shift between graphic tees and the wide range of clothing that the brand is known for today um, seemed to happen around 2013. And yes, I did scroll the entirety of their Instagram to figure that out. All 13,000 posts. In their words, the brand is called Disturbia because they wanted to disturb the suburbs. But now let's actually talk about the clothing that they're widely known for to this day. They have manufacturers in UK, China, Turkey, and India, and they just recently launched a US site with a new facility in Ohio. Their sizes range from extra small to 5X. In the about section, they say all of their fur is faux and all their leather is either fake or recycled. They also have a goal by end of 2023 to remove all single-use plastics. They have a wide variety of clothing catering towards all sorts of alternative communities and a pretty similar price range to Killstar. According to Emily Boo's anti-haul of Disturbia, which she just came out with, please go check it out. This is like one of the reasons I'm doing this video in the first place. I will leave it linked it down below. Please go watch it. All credit to her. But in her video, she said that Disturbia used to release um, clothing lines every season. But now, as of late, it seems like they're releasing new stuff every week. So it just seems to be like an overabundance of clothing. She also stated that the quality had dropped over the years. Many people saying that they are prioritizing quantity over quality. When doing research for this video, I noticed that people either love or hate the quality of Disturbia clothing. They have a 4.3 on Trustpilot, but a 2.6 rating on reviews.io. Most of the complaints I came across when looking at either of these websites was that the sizing was just extremely off, which if you guys saw my Killster haul, I had a very similar experience with them as well, where I had ordered a medium or a large, but somehow got an extra small and it fit me perfectly. I know the number of reviews for Disturbia on each of the websites I mentioned vary quite a bit, but they are still people's honest opinions. As for my honest opinion, I've only ever bought one thing from Disturbia and it was this giant um, faux fur black coat with like this really cool safety pin detail on it. And I can honestly say it's super soft. It's actually really well made. Um, the lining in it is really nice. The fur doesn't feel weird. It's really comfortable. So for that item, at least, I didn't have a bad experience. And the whole process of ordering from Disturbia was perfectly fine. So I personally have no complaints, but I've only had one experience with them. Besides the clothing quality and the sizes being off, a lot of the other complaints I've seen is that they mostly use white skinny models on their website. Even scrolling through it myself, I noticed that there's not a lot of diversity in race and size. I did notice scrolling their Instagram though that they are a little bit better about diversifying diversifying, diversifying their range of influencers that they post. So I saw a lot of POCs and a lot of different sized influencers. So that's something. I just wish that they would contribute that into their website as well. I think it was Blackcraft that I talked about before um, that I was really happy to see that they not only have a really good diversity range, but they also do this thing where they have a standard size model and a plus size model for each of the clothing pieces. So you can actually see what each clothing piece looks like on different body types. Currently, Disturbia is still going strong, coming out with constant designs. As the time of recording this video, they just launched a Green Goddess line, and two weeks before that, they had launched another line entirely. So they're just pumping things out. Nothing is slowing them down. And that is everything I got on Disturbia. With every one of these videos, please let me know in the comments down below if you ever had any experiences with them, good or bad, I'd love to hear it. And if you like these particular videos, I have an entire playlist of these. I've covered other brands like Killstar and Blackcraft, 
So be sure to go check those out. But yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I post new videos out every Saturday, so don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload from me. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!